Hey everybody, I have Miss Malini with me today um, and we're going to do a power blogger tutorial. So this is of course for the mega mother blogger of all. What do you think a blogger's life is like? It's always on the go. It's so hectic. Even though you have your phone, you could probably, you know, use an app to look at yourself. You never yeah. have time. You never have the time. So mm -hmm. you want something that you put in the morning and it stays for very long hours. But it also has to be fuss free. Yeah. Because you're also meeting with a lot of celebrity and this and that. And you're busy. You don't have a mirror and you don't have a spot. But you also it. have to be camera ready for any moment. So you have to be someone that can make do and like we say in Hindi, Jugaad. Jugaad. Jugaad karna hota yaar. So I'm going to show you from some fuss free makeup tricks. But we are going to make her look very fashionable and beautiful. We've got clothes sponsored by Madison on Pedder Road in Bombay. I love this okay. by the way. So comfortable. It? Yeah. And it's all the theme for today is Malini feels styled by my very dear friend uh, Ekta Rajani. She's a fashion editor. She's put together some interesting looks from Madison for us. But the theme is really modern romance. It's not dated but it's, it's new age. It's a very today girl but it's feminine so it's got all the bows and the pastels and the ruffles and the sweetness but without all the fluff and the unnecessary fatting. Let's hope you enjoy this tutorial. So Malini's already come in with moisturizer so that's a great thing you can see that her skin looks lush from moisturizer. So she's used a Clinique moisturizer. To begin I'm going to use this primer by Maybelline it's called Master Prime I found it in New York. This is the green which is a blur and redness control so clearly green sort of neutralizes red. So this one is what I'm going to use as a primer and we have similar skin in so much as it's it's not the smoothest <laughs> yes. you know so a primer really helps not only just to keep the makeup latched onto the skin for long hours but will also smoothen and blur out imperfections and most importantly since Malini does have redness the green tint within this product is going to somewhat eliminate now I'm gonna go in with my foundation this is by Givenchy it's called the Couture Balm I'm gonna go with this brush by PAC number 366 it's PAC not MAC cheaper version. I'm gonna just slap that on and now I'll blend. Wait, Elton always says blend is your friend. She is your friend. And I've used a shade that's slightly warmer than Malini's skin tone but I'm gonna use a concealer that brightens her up because I really want to hide any marks on the skin. Also because when you're on camera often the lights eat up a lot of pigment. A little warmth is nice. You can use a beauty blender, you can use your hands, use whatever you're comfortable with. Now I'm going to go in with NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Biscuit and I'm going to take this wand and just apply this on the inner corners of the eyes right there. Now you can see this is a little brightening. The chin a little bit, a little bit on the upper thingy here. Just on the high points of the face so we can brighten up. This one's quite a, it's a medium to full coverage. It's great if you're on the camera and you're being photoed and videoed. So I'm blending this with, a, uh, again, this is a copy of the Lacquer 217 by MAC. It's by PAC in the number 340. So this brush you can see the real fibers is number 340 and blend blend so i'm using a maybelline eye studio shadow cream shadow called eggplant with uh, the mac 282 brush but this is a smaller edition and it's brand new <laughs> so let's see what this looks like but i like the idea of having this aubergine eye i've always wanted to try like a Isn't dark it? color in my eye. i never know how to do it ah, so now i take this and i just paint it on very haphazardly more on the bottom half of the lid like that it's quite nice you see i always start with the middle of the eye and then i blend towards both the corners so your product depositing is happening on the middle that's the key and then i'm going to close this up so it doesn't dry you can take the same brush really and then just start to blend now i'm gonna use this fancy product which i've not used yet i just bought it yesterday it's by nyx snakes it's called the two timer kind of like me <laughs> one side is a kajal pencil and the other side is a felt tip liner oh, nice. how fantastic is that that's amazing yeah so i'm gonna take the kajal first you like kajal i know I love... so i'm gonna put this in her eye makes me look awake awake and alive i always say kajal is every indian woman's best friend Birthright. Birthright, <laughs> also. Doing the upper waterline really makes the lash line look fuller and like you have a whole, whole bunch of lashes. I'm thinking, I'm, I was gonna actually use it like a liner on her, but I'm gonna avoid it because I feel like it's younger like this. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna take this felt tip just to show it off and use maybe like a corner wing or something, like just there. Yeah. I'm gonna take this pencil by Savannah Colors. It's called Charmful Eyebrows. I bought this in Beautiful on 17th Road in Bandra, Bombay, but it's a, like a Korean brand or something. One side has a brown eyebrow pencil and the other side has a spoolie brush. Perfect. So I'm gonna take this brown and I'm just gonna draw 
little brown hairs now just to keep that brow in place and to show off because this is a new product again by nyx this is the tinted brow mascara in shade black it's not black okay it's a very dark brown it's like a transparent mascara with color elton always says never use black on your brow never use black on your brows it's too hard so this one is great for indian hair and indian skin because or, i mean if you're really you've got a lot of color and you like these strong brows see that's beautiful it just adds a grade of color it just adds a grade of color now for mascara and lashes or let's do blush and contour first so my trusty old friend casino by nars look at how i've rugged out this product what is rugged out in english um is there a word like that like like put through the yeah put through like over usage yeah. and what not so i'm sure there's a word i'm sure see? people can leave a comment for you yeah what is rugged out rugged out yeah this is a new brush i'm using by real techniques it's the sculpting brush i normally use my soft brush which gives a soft line but see this is quite a solid line but again i am an artiste and so i know how to blend um so you just do rounded motions upwards and blend into the what is this area malani uh the temple temples yeah. yes and this one it's not the mosque it's not a church it's chin chin and then the ear and then into the the back of the ears right there okay um you can also take like a small little brush and put it on the in, inner corners of the eye right there but this is more for people with wide set eyes or who don't have dark circle uh, deep set eyes to pull the eyes together it's not a necessary but it's it's nice to warm up the area around the eyes now for blusher i'm going in with something strong today you don't have to you can take something lighter mm -hmm. but i'm taking this one by becca it's called blushed copper Now this beautiful new brush that I bought a few days ago is the Duo Fiber by Real Techniques. It's gorgeous. I'm going to hold it absolutely by the tip of it just so I get minimal product because it's really strong. Just stop the excess on my hand and then use right there a little bit of copper blending into the cheekbone right there. See? Now I'm going in with some mascara. This is by Givenchy. Use any mascara you like. This is called Phenomenize and just coat these lashes with some mascara. Do you have a special way that you apply it that you think is better than another way? Yes. So with this one, I literally just go for it like this, right? But with any other wand, wiggle at the base to separate the lashes and pull to coat. So wiggle, pull, wiggle, pull, wiggle, pull. Remember that your lashes are like this. These towards the nose, these towards the brow and these towards the ears. So it flowers out. Now I'm using a lash. You can see that eye's got a lash and this one's not. I've done that so that you guys can see the difference. Of Ardell double up on this eye. and this one doesn't have it so it's ardell double up in black number 201 that's what the lash looks like and i'm going to put this one on malini's eye and come right back oh my god i can okay, feel so. them i can feel the drama yeah there you go you can keep those lashes malini <gasps> and you can reuse them because you don't need to put mascara on them you know that's so you amazing. can reuse them again and again now all that's left really is the lips i'm going to do two options one is a softer lip that mm -hmm. you would like mm -hmm. and one is a, a darker really darker stronger lip but just to see we'll play and see uh i want to try a blue i want to try a purple blue oh my god i've never won blue let's try purple first okay let's try the purple first we're going to show you multiple looks by anastasia this color is vintage because i think it's up to bloggers to change the way described so let's see So what do you think about that look? How does it look? How does it look? I don't know. I mean this is this is one color. It's oh, quite nice. Wow. See? It is quite nice. It's very instagramable. So we're going to take an Instagram and Snapchat photo. If you're on Snapchat right now, watch us. Okay, blue lip. Okay, so this blue is called paint, like paint. Let's see how that looks. Let's uh, Instagram that. Now I'm going to try what I think will look really cool. It's called Sad Girl, and I think it's cool because it's ironic. It's called liquid lipstick. So, I'm going to end this chilling in Miss Malini's lap. How many of you can do that? So remember that this episode is all about modern romance. Yeah, and we hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video. Comment and tell us what you think and answer all the questions. And the subscribe to yeah. Elton J Fernandez because he's amazing. Subscribe to me and thank you, Madison, for the clothes. Ekta Rajani, thank, thank you, you for styling me. Putting, yeah, putting Marlene together with the clothes, picking them for me. Thank you, Binny and Harish, for my lovely duo piece. And thank you, Elton, for giving me a brand new look with 
such amazing lips mm -hmm. which I've never tried before. Yay! So see you next week. Bye. Bye. With this new brush, it's going to give me a much stronger application than it would if I were using the Inglot brush that I normally use. See, I'm going to just go right there. See, it gives me quite a definite line, and then I'm going to build that. Blend and build and blend and build. Smile, darling. <laughs>